YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a recent shopping haul. If you follow my blog or my Instagram or my Facebook page, you will know that I love shopping. So hence the word shopaholic. That's cross between somebody that's into food and a shopaholic. So we'll have a quick run through of what I bought. This was um, all from Birmingham. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I am going to talk to you about is harness bras. Now, I got asked so many times where I got my harness bra from. Um, a lot of people assumed it was just part of the dress that I wore. So I wore a red dress with a harness bra underneath. Um, I also wear them under body suits and things like that. I constantly get asked where they're from. Now, this is amazing news, people, because I got mine a while ago and they don't sell them online anymore. But I actually went into the new misguided concession, which is inside Southbridges in Birmingham, and they had the bra. So although they don't sell them online, they do have them in store. So if you've got a concession near you, I think there's one in London as well as Birmingham, then you can go in and purchase the harness bra. So it was about $24.99, and you just wear it underneath anything that's low cut, and it just makes your outfit look really cool. So that's one thing that I bought. Another thing that I got from Misguided was a, another um, like bodysuit top. Now, I wear a lot of bodysuits. I absolutely love them. This one was £25. It's a high neck bodysuit and it's actually got some wire, um, like boning in. So hopefully it's going to be really flattering on. So basically, it looks like this. So you tie it around your neck and then it's got quite a deep V and I would probably wear that underneath a skirt or some high-waisted trousers. Um, you can wear them under jeans as well, but it's just not as flattering on me. So hopefully that will look really nice. Then while I was in Misguided, um, one of my favourite colours at the moment is this sort of blush pink colour. Um, I've got quite a lot of things in this colour already, but I saw this and I had to have it. So this cost, let's have a look, £35 and it's a satin detail, a double front, just a nude jacket. So unfortunately, because I've left it a few weeks to actually do this video, it has got a little bit creased. But just the jackets, when it's a little bit warmer, are one of my favourite things to wear. Now, the great thing about this one, it's got really nice detail on the sleeves as well. And then it's also got a little tie for you to be able to tie it over. So I really like that. The thing is with stuff like this, um, they come up quite big. So it's always better to get the smallest size possible that you can fit into. So this is actually a UK 6. Now, I'm not being funny. I'm not a size 6. I'm a size 10, occasionally a size 8. So I'm not a size 6. But in things like that, it always, always looks better. So all of those things are from Misguided and that's Southridges. And uh, that's the one in Birmingham. So, other things I've bought recently. While I was there, it was my husband's birthday and I had already bought him a few different gifts, but I just wanted to get him some really, really nice aftershave. Now, both of us love the brand Creed. Um, Creed is worn by David Beckham, it's worn by loads of celebrities. The male Creed is absolutely amazing. Literally, if you smell someone walking past wearing it, you'll want to rip their clothes off. So Chris, my husband, he normally wears Aventus, which is one of my absolute favourite smells in the world. He wore it on our wedding day. He sprayed my wedding card with it that he wrote to me before we got married. So he's a really big Creed fan. He bought me the female version for my birthday back in November. And then he had a tester recently of another Creed aftershave. And it just smells so good. It's really different to Aventus, but just as nice. So I bought him some for his birthday. And this is the original Vitivia. I don't even know how to pronounce it, Vitivia. It's spelled V-E-T-I-V-E-R. And this is beautiful. Now, Creed isn't cheap. This is only the 30 ml bottle because it is really expensive. Um, I can't actually remember how much I paid for this. I think it was about £110, £120 for a 30ml, which I know, guys, I know, 
it sounds expensive and it is expensive however it lasts absolutely ages i covered myself with it when i was there on saturday and my coat still smells of it now which is nearly a week and a half later that's how strong it is so you do pay for what you get and it comes in a little bottle like this and oh honestly it's sexual so creed then because i was buying him aftershave I thought, well, it's only fair that I get some new perfume. So I'd heard of this perfume and I have seen different people post about it. Um, I've already got loads of perfume, so I didn't really need it. But once I smelt it, I had to have it. Now, this is by Armani. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, or maybe I will. It's Peven wash with you. <laughs> so it almost sounds like uh, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's P I V O I N E S U Z H O U. So I'll put a link to it. That's going to be easier, guys. I'll put a link to it at the bottom of the video. Um, so Armani, they do these higher end um, perfumes, and again, they aren't cheap. But they're such, such good quality that the spray, honestly, you need about two sprays and it will last you for ages. Now, it's a little bit different to what I normally go for. It's quite, it's quite sweet and quite florally. And it's got um, hints of raspberry tones in, rose tones. But it's really, really distinctive. It's the sort of perfume, if you smelt somebody um, wearing it, you would stop and you would say to them, oh my God, what perfume are you wearing? So I love it. So that's being added to my collection. Um, that perfume, from memory, um, again, was about £110 roughly. Um, so yeah, not cheap, but it is amazing. Now, while I was there... I was only going to get a sample. I wasn't actually going to buy it. I was going to try it first and then buy it. But after reading so much about how amazing this foundation is, I just went for it and I just bought it. And I'm so glad I did. It's the new Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. Now, this is a long wear high cover foundation. And it's their first one, which um, has got high cover. So normally, they're more well known for sheerer foundations. But they bought out a high coverage one, and I'm all about the high coverage. So, Power Fabric, it is absolutely gorgeous. I tried it the next day, and I was like, wow, the coverage is amazing. Um, it's got SPF 25, and mine is in shade 6. Now, with the Armani Fabric Foundation, um, I would recommend that you go a shade darker than what you're used to. So head down to the shop and um, get them to test it on your skin, and I would imagine you will need to go one shade darker. So that's a 30ml foundation. Really, really lovely. Love that. So, what else did I get? Um, while I was there, I had a little look around River Island. Um, I'm very much a River Island girl. I love, love, love River Island. So, recently I got quite a few off-the-shoulder tops from River Island. So, um, one was like a stripy colour, and I just got the culottes to match. So, these cost £32, and they're like a stripy short leg um, clot. So I absolutely love clots. Um, I just think these are really cool. Vertical stripe, which is always good, so that gives you the illusion that you look a bit slimmer. And the waist is normally quite high, so they're normally really, really flattering. So they were from River Island. And then um, I'm really into the kind of like boho look when it gets a bit more uh, warmer. And uh, this top was 35 pounds and I got it in a size eight. And um, this is just a really pretty kind of like peasant style um, cold shoulder top. So it's black, but it's also got like a, a florally um, pattern on the front. So hopefully you can see that there. Um, so yeah, it just caught my eye. Things catch my eye. When I go shopping, I'm like a little radar and I'll see something and I'll be like, oh, I've got to have that. 
So this was, yeah, really, really nice. And I like the fact that it's longer, so it'll look nice with leggings as well, or it'll look good with some um, tight trousers. So that was one of my purchases. So next in my shopping haul is Primark. Um, I don't go to Primark very often, not because I don't like it, just because sometimes it's really, really busy and it feels a bit like, just a bit of a mess. But where I live, there's a new shopping centre, not far now, um, from where I live and it's got a brand new Primark and it's always quite quiet, it's really well laid out, it's always clean and tidy so I can cope with going in there. So I had a quick dash in and dash out and this is what I managed to find. Now when I go to Primark I always stock up on their cotton wool um, this is the Oval Cosmetic Pads. They're so good for getting your makeup off. Um, I can't do them with these little, little tiny ones. I like this size. So they are only 90p each, guys. Then, while I was there, I thought I would get a few uh, bits of underwear. So I got some more um, of their little socks that they do. Um, some more of their thongs. Now the things I like about their thongs is that they are only two pounds for a start, which is just ridiculous, but they're seamless. So if you're a little bit worried about your BPL underneath your clothes, then these are really cool. So they're just in black. Then I got a matching um, harness bra underwear set. So I haven't actually tried these on. Um, I've got a bit of a thing about trying stuff on in shops. Is anybody else like that? I don't really like doing it. I like to get it all home, try it all on, and then take it back if I don't like it. So that's just what I prefer to do. If I can be bothered or if I've dressed right, then I'll quickly whip my clothes off and try stuff on. But I prefer to just buy it and take it home. So this little bralette, because um, I have got slightly bigger boobs um, than some of the sizes of the bras, I did go for the large. The large is meant to be for a size 14 to 16. Um, I'm a size 10, on top sometimes I'm a size 8, but there was no way the size 8 bra was going to fit me. It might have covered my nipple and that's about it. So this is such a pretty, pretty bra. So I'm really excited to try that on. And then I also got the matching underwear. So the bra only cost eight pounds, which is just ridiculous. And the pants I think were about five. And then I saw another one in a khaki green colour, so I had to have that. Um, I thought I would try the medium in that one, which is size 10 to 12, so that was £8. Um, and the pants, let me tell you how much they were, three, 3 quid. It was 3 quid, that's just ridiculous. So that's really pretty with a nice cross back. Um, probably not got loads of support, but just for one night out underneath an outfit, I'm sure that'd be great. Then, I got another harness bra, um, so this is another bralette, this is like a rose patterned one, um, and that was only £8 as well, um, quite see-through that one, that one you would need to wear something that kind of covered you up a little bit. Then, while I was there, I picked up some more of their tights, I really, really love their tights, I always go for a larger size in tights, I like them to kind of like pull me in, um, and yeah, I can't be doing this like pulling up thing that people do with tights. So these are opaque and they're 80 denier and because they've got 3D lycra and they've got no seams, they're really really smooth and they pull you in and they're two quid. Two quid. Amazing. So the socks I always get because I only wear train socks, can't be doing with no long socks and these are £1.70 So seven pairs of socks. So good. Why don't I go there more often? So I also got a sports bra, um, this is 34D because that's what size I am, and this is light support but actually it is quite underwired. Um, I really like these, it's got like a crocodile black shiny effect on, so yeah, I love that. If you're doing a bouncy um, class then you might want a bit more support, but if you're just doing like weights or if you're doing um, anything kind of bike like spin or sprint then this bra will be absolutely brilliant. It's cross back. And it was only seven pound. So my sports bra is normally about forty pound. Seven quid. Can't go wrong. Then when I was there, I thought I would try out um, these shoes. I haven't tried them on yet, um, but I love khaki green. Um, I'm a size six, and they were only sixteen pounds. I love 
a shoe boot. I absolutely love them. I normally prefer a thicker sole, but I won't wear them for very long, so hopefully they won't hurt. And they've got the gorgeous chunky heel, which I love. Then I've got some bubbles um, that are not meant to crease your hair, but they always do. Uh, but I still like them, and they were only a pound. And while I was there, I thought I would try one of their necklaces. Um, I don't really wear jewellery, you might have noticed that. I only wear my wedding rings, um, sometimes I wear a watch. It's very rare you'll see me in a necklace or anything like that. I'm just a bit funny about some things around my neck. Um, but this one was only £3, so I thought I would give that one a go as well. Now, I think that's everything. So, I hope you enjoyed that quick shopping haul. So, please remember to like the video, if you liked it, of course. It just helps to support my channel. Or leave a positive comment um, in the link below. I'll try and link some of the projects. Primark hasn't got a website, so I won't be able to link that. Um, but you'll be able to find it just by Googling or going on the website or popping into the stores. So, thank you so much for watching, and happy fopping.